I think Elon believes that we could be living in a simulation. Do you ever think about that? Well, th th that's an interesting idea, and it's, it's um, being promoted by a philosopher at Oxford, actually, called Nick Bostrom. Um, it, it's, it's very hard to disprove, um, and Nick Bostrom thinks it's not only hard to disprove, he thinks it's highly likely. Um, his, his version of that idea is that um, the simulation is not a different life form on another planet or something, but is our own future. Right. That, that our own future, which may be artificial intelligence, reaches the point where it makes a simulation of its own past, um, of, of the process that gave rise to it, yeah. including, including us, including the whole of evolution, and including us. And it is, it is hard to disprove. Um, now I've even thought of a wrinkle on that. When, when I would pull out my phone to, to my 102-year-old mother just before she died um, and would do things like um, ask Siri something or, or, or you know, show her a map of, of where she was born or, or something. She was, but, but, but how could all that information be in that tiny little thing? Well, it's not in it. It's, it's in the cloud. It's, 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 it's probably it's in a computer in California or somewhere. Um, and the information is, is, is brought into this little tiny thing in your pocket. If Nick Bostrom is right that we're living in a simulation, we, it, it is a bit of a baffling mystery how the human brain, this very small skull, can manage to um, do so much. I mean, when you think about what it can do, which, which computers can't do, maybe it gets its information from, from a cloud. If we're in a simulation, there's no reason why the information should all be inside there. It, it, it could be in the, the giant computer that's running the simulation.